All right, man, let's talk about Errol Spence, Terrence Crawford. Lines will be moved. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. Next subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications. Increase your chance to get notifications. We go live or drop video. So, yeah, we already know lines going to be moved. I talked about this uh, on the live. I did. It wasn't the main topic, but we already know the lines will be moved. The habitual line steppers will be out. It don't really matter. Um, you know, oh, Errol Spence was way drained. Errol Spence, I wasn't healed. Errol Spence was, you know, uh, uh, um, you know, the car accident. He wasn't the same fighter. And you hear people, some Terrence Crawford fans go around and say, well, Crawford was closer to 36. And a lot of those things could be true. But the reason you put the onus on Errol Spence is because Al Heyman and them stretched this out. I mean, just like they stretched out the Anthony Joshua fight, if the Anthony Joshua fight come off. You know, same way. Just like if they stretch out the Anthony Joshua fight. They waited all this time to make the fight happen when Wilder could have fought for Undisputed or, you know, and all that type of stuff. And they want to stretch these things out. They stretched out Jamil Charlo and Jared Hurd. And it never happened. And Jamil and Jared Hurd just fell off a cliff. Charlo took, you know, had had a loss in there, which, you know, it is what it is. It ha and, you know, shit happens. It's life. But, uh, you know, they had this thing about marinating fights and trying to up the value of fights. And, um, you know, and trying to up the value of fights. And, you know, that's what it is. That's what they believe in. I can't, I mean, I ain't here to change nobody, what nobody believe. Um, I'm for what? That's my thing. I'm not here to change people, man. You didn't. Once you figure out that you didn't have debates with people and all this type of stuff and and don't nothing come of it and people just, you know, even though they know you right or you you state in factual statements and they still just want to go on and make lies, even in the, the ultimate opinion that is the board. When somebody get knocked the fuck out, people still making excuses. These dudes going to move the line. So I, I said this and I'm just thinking this morning, let me make this into a video. I said, if you're looking for vindication, and I said this on many occasions, if you're a Terrence Crawford fan and you're looking for a vindication over Errol Spence, the only vindication that you're going to get if Terrence Crawford win is just Terrence Crawford putting them eight-ounce uh, gloves on this dude Mellon. That's it. His fans is going to move is gonna move the pole back. They're going to do the Deontay Wilder, Tyson Fury 3. Oh, he's still our king. Oh, stay up, Wilder. We still love you. That's what they're going to do. That's what they're going to do. That's what they're going to do. Real talk. That's what they're going to do. So, you know, you, you've you been warned. You know, don't, don't look for validation. Yeah, you're going to have your fun making your memes and making your jokes, whatever. But if Terrence Crawford win, then you already know they're going to parade in. Like I said, it's not a half glass, half empty, half full thing. It's a half glass, half empty on Terrence Crawford. He was never going to get the validation. They was always going to say, well, at least he was way drained and he wasn't the same fighter or, or this, that, and the third. Now, you know, Errol Spence did all that talking, you know, when security standing there, when the teacher standing in the classroom, and when the teacher left the classroom, this motherfucker wasn't trolling. He wasn't talking. He, you know, all this bullshit he was doing, all he did was start writing checks that his ass can't cash. Do I give a fuck about his eye? No. If his daddy and mammy loved him, they wouldn't let him go in there with a fucked up eye. No matter how much money. He, he said, I retired my parents years ago. Okay, he got money then. If you hurt, why are you still fighting? Riddle me that. If your eye fucked up, if, why are you still fighting? So, no, I, I don't care if that motherfucker eye fall out in the ring and the ref step on it. I wouldn't care. Just, just keeping it real. He made a decision to go out there. Just like if you go on your job and the machine chop your fucking arm off. Motherfuckers not going to care. They're going to act like at the work. They're going to stop the line for a minute and they're they going to cry. They might let some people go home and go cry. But then tomorrow they're going to start that motherfucker right back up. They're going to give some safeties, some safety classes. You know, ain't going to offer no therapy or nothing like that. Nothing like that. Nothing like that. They just going to be going back home. Come back home the next day. And it, and it is going to be what it is.
It is going to be what it is. And, 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 and that's life. And, that, and that's the and that's the cold hearted truth about about life and about working. And you, you know, not to get too deep in it, same thing going at home. A lot of the motherfuckers is married and got family and kids, man. A lot of them, them kids don't give a fuck until you gone. And I agree with Charleston White. A man cannot be measured, his greatness cannot be measured till he usually did. Why you here? Motherfuckers don't value as, as, as no man, bro. People think I'll be bullshitting, dude. They don't. They don't appreciate you, dude. The sacrifices that you make. And that's why I tell dudes, you know, all these dudes say, you know, they, that mem said, my, the dude's hands are dirty so his wife can drive BMWs and, and have diamonds on her fingers and all that, man. And a lot of these young dudes in this generation is, is waking up. They are waking up. They waking up. Fuck, am I gonna sacrifice my life? I'm on average live long, live less than women. You know, and I'm gonna sacrifice my short life on this planet, making women and kids happy for what? And then they don't give a fuck about you. All they're gonna do is take your insurance policy, fight over it, go buy a Hellcat, go buy a Chanel bag. And you know, then say, Oh, I miss that, and do fake uh 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 do fake crying at the funeral and shit, and they're going to move on, and your bitch going to be on another dick. Let's just, let's just pretty much call it what it is. Let's call it what it is. Let's call it what it is. In the grand scheme of things, no, nobody care about no grown ass man. Let's call it what it is. But these lines are gonna be pushed, especially the Earl Spence line. You know, you seen all the excuses that, um, you seen all the excuses that they was giving. You know, Earl Spence every time he said, you know, said something. He said but Crawford get a belt, he'll fight him. They made excuses about that. He said Bob Aaron won't give him to me. He won't give him to me. He on the wrong side street. I ain't, I'm all, I'm never gonna fight on ESPN. I don't even fight on Showtime and Fox. Well, PPC, okay, Terrence Crawford say, you know, I just want to be free. He got free. That pit bull, that, 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 that African master, the bowler bull, the Turkish Kango got off the goddamn chain, started rolling, you know, circling the block. He really was spinning the block. What 21 say on uh, that Drake album? You know, he go missing, we going to spin his parents. Stayed in Houston so long. He would say, I'm in Houston and say you so long. I'm like Steve Francis. He spent that block. He spent the block many times. And then after a while, what really made this fight happen was peer pressure. Pressure. So heavy. So heavy. It's getting heavy, like Gucci say. The pressure got to him. He started hearing niggas say, This niggas a how. This niggas a bitch. You know what I'm saying? You know, he started hearing people say Earl Sprint and all this shit. That shit got to him as a man. That's why a lot of men, you know, until we learn to control our emotions, when women, women know how they can trigger us with words, bitch ain't got to put her hands on you to to uh, to uh trigger you or to get you get a physical reaction out of you because they know they didn't learn you. They didn't know what, what made you tick. You done told the bitch your whole life story. So she know you got problems with your mammy. You know, she know you had problems. You grew up in foster care. She knew, you know, about you know the job, man. That's why you keep your emotional thoughts to yourself and go get a therapist. Once again, these these kids and women don't give a fuck about you, bro. The majority of them, if they do, is because they know if you die, they can't financially make it without you. Let's call it what it is. And the dudes that do there and they go there, they wait hand and foot, they give up, they all for their kids and their wife. What the wife do, bitch, get bored. Go file for divorce. Go run off with child support and alimony. It's just it's the naked truth. And then you strip naked and then you figure out, yo, I don't have to file bankruptcy. I have to financially rebuild myself up. Give me a one bed studio apartment. And then you figure out or I have to go back to mom's basement for a minute. Then you figure out, guess what? Damn, 
being simple in my my studio apartment or going to get me a condo and sitting here on my on my my beanbag chair and playing Xbox and you know not having to worry about nothing else. Hey, this is relaxing. I should have stayed in the simple life my whole life and just had a rotation of, of a solid skeezers. This is you figuring out realizing. But like I said before, the lines will be moved. Let me know what you girls and guys think about the video. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, subscribe button, it's the bell icon button, hit all notification, increase your chance of notification, hit the link tree. Find me on Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, TikTok, the whole nine. Rate me on the podcast platform. Don't forget thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Peace.